words right there. Cause y'all feel like this motherfucker like y'all play folks. These hoes ain't on ya. No, no. A lot of people been waiting to see me. That's right. And it's my time now. You know, a lot of people don't know about Screw the Rules. How did you come up with that? Um, I came up with the concept Screw the Rules um, back in 2011. Um, I was homeless, but I was funny. <laughs> so I knew something was going to happen. And, you know, I'm 51 now. So back in 2011, of course, I was younger, but I knew that I was running out of time. Mm -hmm. And I had already stopped doing comedy for nine years. Mm -hmm. I started in 1993. I stopped in 1998. I came back in 2007. 2011 was very important because I'm back in the game, but it's like I was in a rat race all these amateur comedians and I knew I had already had the experience so I had to come up with a concept I had to come up with a gimmick something that was going to stick something that was going to pay my bills <laughs> um, the normal way of doing things in the entertainment world is going with the norm right. waiting to get chosen mm -hmm. I don't have time to wait so I said screw the rules y'all go through the front door I'm coming through the back door that's what I'm talking about. And I've been coming through a lot of back doors, and finally I'm at the front door. But they've been knowing I've been coming through the back door for these past couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, I branded my my logo. I own my logo. Um, the rest is history. I have one of the longest running comedy shows in LA, Screw the Rules Comedy Show. It's been uh, eight and a half years strong. Mm -hmm. Not Oh, I got 20 people here, 20 people there. No, I have about 80, 90 people that can't get in every month wow. for my show. What up, motherfuckers? I don't have big name comedians. I, my focus is up and coming comedians. Mm -hmm. Comedians that didn't get a shot or haven't gotten their shot yet, but they need to be on the right platform. Mm -hmm. My platform, I have, I have a large audience. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of comedians like myself that's funny, but hadn't got their shot yet. And I've had some comedians that have made it now they started at my club. They started at my show. Wow. So they're on now. And I love it. Mm -hmm. Because I can say, and they can say, oh, I started at that club. And that club was off the chain. And, you know, my clothing line is doing well. And give us the information for your clothing line. Because I'm sure people want to check that out. Yeah, well, they can go on um, ScrewTheRulesComedyShow.com and I have upcoming shows on there. Um, I have a t-shirt line, my hoodie line. Mask Different line. colors, yeah, mask. I, I, I don't have it all, but I have enough right. to get my point across. Mm -hmm. Because Scooter is really plain and simple. Mm -hmm. it's, it's grounded, it's down to earth. You know, don't ask me for no fuchsia shirt. <laughs> don't ask me for fuchsia. <laughs> I'm from the hood. Is that pink or purple, sir or ma'am? <laughs> That's all I need to know. Don't oh don't come goodness. at me with the technical colors, because when I was poor, I grew up when we got the coloring box. Right. I didn't see fuchsia. In the coloring box. It was pink, black, purple, red, green, oh my blue, yellow. <laughs> That's the colors that I sell. <laughs> don't hit me with the. Uh, let me have a. Uh, uh, a gray hue. What the hell is hue? I know what hue mean, but why are you coming at me like that? Uh -huh. You go on my website, you don't see the word hue. You keep scrolling to the color that look like hue to you. Speaking of your following, I understand that you have people yeah. traveling here from Los Angeles to see you. Yeah. Lots of people. Yeah. On the count of three, we're going to say it ain't gas ever. One, two, three. It ain't gas ever. So if you're missing this time, make sure that you lock that date in, May 28th, at yeah. Philly Dance. <laughs>
All I gotta do is lean. They're gonna soon give up.